Well, guys, behind me is the Fitchville Pond Dam. Its purpose, of course, to hold back the Gantic River. But at about 7 o'clock this morning, raging floodwaters started flowing around the left side, which is what you're looking at right now. You can see behind me those very large sandbags that have been brought in along with rock to temporarily shore it up. But this created a very real concern that a catastrophic dam failure was imminent. The left abutment was leaking from this dam, something we hadn't seen before. Following a 7 a.m. breach of the Fitchville Pond Dam, mandatory evacuation orders were issued for parts of Norwich and Basra as the Yantic River raged a full four feet beyond critical flood stage. Backyards turned into ponds. Somehow the river overflowed, came right down our driveway, swept through all of this, ended up in our backyard. And basements into swimming pools. Fosra Fire Department was nice enough to bring us this super industrial strength pump. It's just remarkable. People are telling me they've never seen Yannick River um, as full as it is today. This goes back to the flooding of 1938 and maybe Noah. The dam itself, built in 1840, then rebuilt in 1880, is deemed a high hazard dam, meaning its catastrophic failure would cause loss of life. It's higher than I've ever seen it. I've lived here for three years and I lived across the street for three years before that and I've never in my life seen the river even touch this level. The dam breach forced Norwich Public Utilities to shut down an electrical substation, leaving 5,000 residents in the dark for what could be several days. It's a very much a minute to minute, hour to hour situation. So we've got 5,000 people right now without power, wondering if they're gonna be able to have a hot meal tonight or take a shower if they get home from work. As for the dam itself, we learned it's privately owned by Seymour Sand and Gravel. There's a history of enforcement action on this dam, yes. Private owners are required to hire a licensed engineer and submit emergency action plans to the state. This dam does not have an emergency action plan. The dam was last inspected by the State Department of Energy and Environmental Protection in 2022. Multiple issues were discovered. There was problems with the dams and we've been uh, monitoring this dam uh, during storms and we keep an eye on it. So you might be wondering what comes next. Well, state officials tell me that the good news is the water on the Yantic River, the level is starting to recede. But there is still a very real risk that this dam could suffer further damage and even breach, which is why the plan that the state is now putting in place is going to be to build a second dam actually in front of the current one. What that's going to allow them to do is to siphon out, to suck out all of the water between the two dams to be able to go down to the base of the structure and get a look at what happened to that original dam and figure out what needs to be done to get it repaired. For now, we're live in Basra. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.